Hello everybody and welcome to the Scouting Report. I'm Dan Hike here with Armchair Analyst Matt Doyle and today we're previewing the Saturday evening match between the New England Revolution and Philadelphia Union. Matt, this Union team comes into this one after a solid midweek performance against Sporting KC. They won 2-1, to one, their first win since week two. But it was surprising to me because they had a lot of changes in the back line. Amobia Kugo moved into the midfield, and we saw Danny Cruz and Leo Fernandez get rare starts in that one. I want to focus on those two heading into this game. Did they do enough to start again on Saturday? Uh, Danny Cruz absolutely did enough. It, look. Philadelphia fans don't love him because he's what we'll call an inelegant soccer player, but he's relentless. On both sides of the ball, he always makes those aggressive, attacking, penetrating runs. That's how he got his goal in this one, following up on a rebound. And Philly wasn't getting that from anybody else. And just doing that pulls defenses apart a little bit and gives a little more space for players to work with. It's a lot like what Rodney Wallace did for the Timbers last year. Leo Fernandez a little bit more of a question because he wasn't great against Sporting Kansas City, but I say give him the benefit of the doubt because it was Sporting freaking Kansas City. <laughs> they had given up two even strength run of play goals all year. Philly got two with Fernandez out there in that playmaker role. He wasn't necessarily the reason, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think you tread out the same exact lineup if you're John Hackworth. Now, like Philly, New England comes into this one after a strong performance in their last game. They won 5 nothing against Seattle. At JR Kumar asks, Irrational Revs fan want to know, on a scale from 1 to 10, how awesome was that game on Sunday? And Rational Me wants to know, how likely is another performance like that against Philadelphia? Well, I, I think for the the Irrational Revs fan first, I think that, I mean, that's a 10 out of 10, yeah. right? Like, you don't get a better performance than that unless you get a trophy at the end. I mean, that was great. And it wasn't just the fact that Diego Fagundes finally got off the schneid and Teal Bunbury really came into his own on the other side of that midfield. It was that Bobby Shuttleworth had another really, really good game in goal. I think going into the season people thought, well, he's just a good backup. He's not going to be a starter. He's a starter. Uh, but what really should be exciting for Revs fans is the process. This is a team that understands who they are now. Uh, Patrick Mullins coming in has really solidified that number nine role. He's done a lot of hold-up work. He stays high and central, which drags defenders away, and that gives more room to the likes of Fagundes, Lee Wynn, Daigo Kobayashi, and Bunbury on the other side. So I, I think you have to be really, really happy if you're a Revs fan. You can never expect another 5-0 win, though. I think what you do expect going forward is that this team plays the same way. They're not going to finish the same way every week, but they know who they are now. All right, well, we'll find out if they can keep it rolling on Saturday. It kicks off at 7 p.m. Eastern time, and you can watch it on MLS Live.